welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain relation in between laplace and fourier transform so in previous session i have already explained what is laplace transform now in this session i'll be going to explain relation in between laplace and fourier transform now see before i go for explanation of laplace and fourier transform relation first of all we should know what is laplace transform so see laplace transform if i say laplace transform of signal x of t then that is x of s and we can calculate that by integration minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus s t dt so this is how we can have laplace transform solution and if you want to have what is fourier transform then fourier transform of any signal x of t so that is x of omega and we can solve it by integration minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt so this is how we can have laplace transform and fourier transform calculation now to have relation in between laplace transform and fourier transform i'll be considering equation of laplace transform first and as i have explained in previous session in laplace transform we represent signal in s domain and that s is a combination of real and imaginary part so in laplace transform s is a combination of real and imaginary part so it is what sigma plus j omega if i say this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so from equation 1 we can say laplace transform x of s that is e to the power minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus s t dt where if i place s is equals to sigma plus j omega here then you will be getting minus infinite to infinite x t into e to the power minus sigma plus j omega t dt now see this is a multiplication of e to the power minus sigma t and e to the power minus j omega t so separate it out so e to the power minus sigma t into e to the power minus j omega t dt now if you observe fourier transform equation so that is what x of omega that is x t into e to the power minus j omega t so here e to the power minus j omega t is there what it means if you consider this term as a function then fourier transform of this term that is equals to this laplace transform that one can say so see if i consider this is what x dash of t if i consider this resultant x t into e to the power minus sigma t that is x dash of t then this is what fourier transform of this x dash of t as see x t that is what now this term into e to the power minus j omega t so one can say this is fourier transform of x t into e to the power minus sigma t so laplace transform of x of t that is equals to fourier transform of x of t into e to the power minus sigma t see this is what the relation which is there in between laplace transform and fourier transform I hope that you have understood this session. Please write your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I'll make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.